Hello everyone. Today we are going to present our BTEC final year project presentation named IoT and Machine Learning Based Advanced Agriculture Management System presented by Aruna Hora, Jutishman Bosisto, Basudi Purukasto, Iftikar Zaman Mozundar under the supervision of Professor Kondopa Kumar Sarma. These are the our present outline, introduction, then literature review, then problem formulation, then technology use, then rainfall prediction model, then proposed IoT model and mobile app development, then improvement of the IoT model, then real-time database designing, then fruit health recognition, website development, challenges and issues, then future directions, conclusions, gain chart of the project work, and then the list of references. Agriculture has uh, seen many revolutions, whether domestics of animals, plants thousands of years ago. The systematic use of crop rotations and other improvement in farming practice uh, in few hundred years ago on the green revolution with systematic breeding and widespread use of man-made fertilizers and besides of few decades ago. We suggest that agriculture is undergoing a fourth revolution triggered by exponentially increasing by use of information and communication technology in agriculture. So there is a need of mod implement modern science and technology in the agriculture sector for increase the yield. These projects aim the making agriculture advanced using IoT and machine learning. The highlights of the projects are getting real-time data from sensors, mobile app and website control irrigation systems, fruit health recognition models and rainfall predictions. These are the, our some papers that we have studied. After the st uh, study the uh, papers, we have concluded some points and, and we have determined some problem formulations. To the, uh, first task is that interfacing all sensors and device or hardware components together on the same platform. Then, transmit and receive real-time information through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modules, then machine learning algorithms for rainfall predictions and fruit health recognition and plant leaf disease detection, and control the integrated management system and monitor the system on real-time basis. There are three different main technologies that we have used in our project. First one is information and communication technology, then Internet of Things, that is IoT, then machine learning. ICT that is in this technology, farm data is collected and stored or their facilitate different farm operations. Automatic software is used to perform these operations. IoT, this is the core technology of smart farming. It is utilized in processing of farm related data as so as to identify the problems of plants and find the suitable solutions to increase the quality and quantity of the yields. Machine learning, in this technology, machine learning algorithms are used to control farm related operations automatically. Now I am requesting my teammate Iftikar Zaman Mozundar to deliver the further slides. Thank you Aruna. Now coming to rainfall prediction, as we all know that the availability of fresh water is less than compared to the demand and almost 85% of the available fresh water resources are used for agricultural purpose. So here our main motivation is to develop a rainfall prediction model which will help us to predict whether it will rain or not on a given date. By doing so, by, do, by doing so we can pave the way for an environmental friendly agricultural system. So coming to the block diagram, we have gathered a data set, we handled the data set and trained the model for it. We used three different algorithms, CatBoost algorithm, Random Forest, Gaussian Nightwise. We got the accuracy score as well as the AUC score for all the three and we saved the model. These are the steps that we have performed for the rainfall prediction model. We used the data set from Kegel. We analyzed the data and separated numerical, continuous as well as categorical variables. We performed analysis on each of the variables in order to remove the anomalies present in the data set. We dealt with the missing values of all the numerical as well as categorical variables using random imputation method, median method, get dummies method and level encoding method. We plotted the box plot in order to remove the outliers and graphically represented the probability distribution of the variables. We used two categorical variables namely rain, rain tomorrow and date for training as well as testing purpose. 
we performed three algorithms as mentioned earlier cat boost gaussian naive bias and random forest these are the parameters used we had 16 numerical features two discrete features 14 continuous features and seven categorical features this is our box plot in the left hand side we can see that the box plot contains outliers we remove the outliers and in right hand side we can see that the box plot is devoid of any outliers this is our probability distribution curve for catboos classifier we plotted false positive rate versus true positive rate curve and we saw that the AUC score is 0 0.89 now coming to random forest classifier we did the same and we found out that the AUC score is 0 0.88 in Gaussian Nebbis classifier the AUC score was found out to be 0 0.82 We discussed the we discussed all the three models and we compared the AUC as well as accuracy scores and we saw that the catboost was the best model and we selected it for our algorithm. Greetings everyone, this is Jutisman here. Now I will be continuing the presentation with this slide proposed IoT model. We have proposed an advanced agricultural management system using different sensors and controlling of the system through a mobile device. For this, sensors will be plugged at different locations in the field. The Android application gives access to the data collected from different sensors. Then we can control the irrigation process based on the data collected and predicted output of the rainfall prediction. These are the various IoT components used in the project. This is the block diagram of the proposed IoT model. Here, we are using three sensors. Soil moisture sensor, temperature and humidity sensor, and air quality sensor. Then these sensors are interfaced with a microcontroller board. The data collected from the sensors are sent to the Android app through a Bluetooth module. In the Android app, the data are displayed and based on the analysis of those data, the motor can be controlled. The user can send signal through the Bluetooth module to the microcontroller and the microcontroller will control the motor. We have used Arduino Uno as a microcontroller board and HC05 as the Bluetooth module. Then data are collected from three different sensors. Soil moisture sensor measures the water content in the soil. DHT11 gives the temperature and humidity information. And MP135 is used for measuring the concentration of acetone. Then comes the mobile app development. We have used MIT App Inventor for designing the mobile app to display and analyze the collected data from different sensors. These are the nine parameters that we have considered while designing the mobile app, from choosing the right IoT platform to the application maintenance, as you can see in the right side of the slide. This is the mobile app interface that we have designed. Here, we can see the temperature, humidity, soil moisture, and air quality values. Also, there is a pump controller through which the motor can be controlled. This is the prototype of the IoT model and user interface of the Bluetooth-based Android app that we have designed in Phase 1. Then, the improvement of the IoT model. So, why this improvement? The improvement is done basically in Phase 2 due to the problem faced with the earlier system that we have designed in phase 1. The first and foremost problem is that the system can only be used in indoor applications or in a range of 10 meters as we know that Bluetooth has a limited connectivity. Then what are the improvements or features added in phase 2? So firstly, we use Node MCU in place of Arduino and Bluetooth module. Secondly, LEDs are implemented to indicate the working conditions of the sensors. And last point is that a real-time database is designed to store the data collected from different sensors. Then what we can expect from those improvements? So now, the system can be used in indoor as well as outdoor applications, since it supports a range of 100 meters. Then there is ease of connectivity with the real-time database since the Node MCU has an inbuilt Wi-Fi connectivity. Also, the faults in the sensor's connection can be detected and located with the help of the LEDs. This is the block diagram of the improved IoT model. 
Here, node MCU is used in place of Arduino and Bluetooth module. Then we have designed a Firebase database. The Android app is also improved as per the system requirements. The user can send signal to the Firebase and from the Firebase, the node MCU can retrieve the information and the motor can be controlled. This is the flowchart of the improved IoT model. First is the start of the programming. We will set up the Wi-Fi module. Then our program will check the working conditions of the sensors. If there is some connection issue or sensor fails to read the data, then there will be indications from the red LED. If everything is fine, then there will be indications from the green LED. If then we will acquire the sensors data and send those data to the mobile app and the Firebase database. From the Firebase, the program can retrieve the status of the motor and compare the pump status received from the app and the database. If the pump status is detected to be 1, then the pump will be on. Otherwise, if the pump status is detected to be 0, then the pump will be off. As you can see, the flowchart is divided into two sections. First one is the data acquisition and real-time monitoring and second one is the irrigation control. Lastly, comes the real-time database designing. These are the five steps that we have followed for designing the database. We have used Google Firebase to create the database. Then this Firebase database is linked to our mobile application. This is the prototype of the improved IoT model and user interface of the Wi-Fi based Android app. With this, I am concluding my presentation. I would like to request my teammate Fasudeep to continue with this presentation. Model. Uh, the main objective here is to increase the overall profitability of the farm by distinguishing the rotten and the ripened fruits and separate them. So this is the block diagram. First we have taken the images from Kaggle dataset and then we have processed the data and performed data augmentation in order to increase the number of images. Then we have built the model using Adam optimizer. We have used different types of optimizers but Adam optimizer was the best suit for the model. And then we have exported the model and created a website using Flask. So the main purpose uh, was done in Jupyter Notebook. We have created a virtual environment uh, where we have uh, used TensorFlow. We have taken images that is belong to the three categories of fruits, oranges, bananas and apples. The images are divided into two sections, rotten and the ripened ones. We have trained the model with the algorithms and tested it. These are the parameters we have used. Uh, we have represented the parameters and their significance in the form of a table. Here we can see that the image size is taken to be 300, the base size is taken to be 32, and uh, channels is taken to be 3, and epochs is 35. So uh, the overall length of the training dataset and the validation dataset is 30 and 3 respectively, and the length of the test dataset is 5. Then we have performed data augmentation where we have tried to increase the number of images by uh, zooming out, zooming in, rotating the images in horizontal vertical positions and then we have performed convolution 2D and max pooling 2D. After that we have performed the Adam optimizer part where we have got the accuracy uh, that is uh, uh, suit for the model. <coughs> the accuracy is found out to be 89% and the loss code is found out to be 0.32%. Here the training and the validation accuracy and the training and the validation loss is represented in the form of a graph. The orange line in both the graph depicts the validation accuracy and the loss and the blue line depicts the training accuracy and the loss. Here are the list of results. We have uh, uh, uploaded six images where we can see that uh, in the first image it is a uh, rotten apple and it is also showing that it is a rotten apple. The confidence percentage is 99.95. Accordingly, we can see the rest of the images as given. So the next part comes into the website development portion where we have created a main website using uh, uh, the uh, technologies uh, in the front end section such as HTML, CSS bootstrap, JavaScript and in the back end we have used Flask. This is the main website of our project, the title with Agriculture Management System. This is the interface of the uh, website. This is the interface of the rainfall predictor as discussed earlier. And this is the predictor part where uh, the data is uh, 
output in the, the respective fields and uh, once uh, we click on the predict option it predicts that whether there will be rainfall tomorrow or it will be sunny this is the website of the fruit recall health recognition portion this is the interface the challenges and the issues here we have faced are the connectivity issues design and durability issues the real time data acquisition portion these are the future directions in the future we are uh, planning to increase the number of sensors that help in fetching more data and uh, we are uh, planning to uh, uh, develop a plant leaf disease detection model that will increase the pro overall profitability of our uh, project and uh, deploy a robot robotic arm that will work based on the fruit health recognition algorithms in order to pluck or pick the rotten on the ripened fruits along with we are uh, willing to provide an online education platform to the farmers so that they can uh, get uh, education over our project and the model so that they can use this uh, coming to the conclusion, uh, it is one of the most important features of the system is that it is versatile and can be changed according to the situation of the plants, climates, etc. IoT and machine learning have a huge scope in uh, developing a scalable, profitable as well as efficient production system and uh, we will get a promising future. Uh, so farmers must understand the potential of the IoT market for agriculture by installing the smart technologies to increase competitiveness and sustainability in their productions. This is the game chart of our project work, which depicts how we have planned, we have studied the literature review portion, how we have developed our project uh, and uh, the database design, etc. This is the game chart. There are the list of references that we have taken in order to uh, refer uh, about something of our project this is the video clip of our project This Android app can control the irrigation system by clicking on and off switch, user can control the water pump. This web page can determine the fruit health condition. 